It's Friday, Friday. Can I go live on Friday, Friday, Friday? Can I go live on Friday, Friday, Friday? Can I go live on Friday, Friday? What's up, Natalie? Miranda! Dylan, what's up, buddy? We're in the road! Fried chicken, pork, and chili carnitas. We'll also be doing the grilled potato salad. You said grilled potato salad. That sounds awesome. Grilled potato salad. Yeah. Be tasty. I'm excited about tasty. that. Tasty. So what should I do now? So um, let's go ahead and let's get prepped for our chicken. There's a few things that we want to do first. Let's talk about our our, uh, our bridge. You want to? You really want to light that? Do not. If you want to, go for it. So the matador here. It's a 22 inch cooking disc. We'll get this lit over medium heat. Jody's going to add about a gallon of oil. Typically, I, I use uh, peanut oil, but if anybody has peanut allergies, you want to avoid that. So, you can buy in bulk uh, like soybean oil or hydrogenated uh, fry oil. Works great. Rectech Grill says hello from Belize. Whoa! Oh! Free shipping, $1.99. <laughs> All right, so the oil will expand a little when you heat it. So we're looking to get the oil just below uh, the inside lip of that. Did I do a good job, Chef? I, I couldn't have done it any better if I did it myself. I bet there's no one in Belize rocking these overalls. I bet Belize ain't, I bet it ain't as hot as it is in Belize. No, it's hotter here. <laughs> a thousand degrees. A thousand degrees. But we're getting uh, stock in, uh, so we got shoved out of the warehouse. Kind of kicked. We got kicked out of the warehouse, so we're out here. Oh, there's, that is probably going to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, take a right. Go to 2002. No, no, thank you. Peggy Grimes <laughs> says, "What's up?" So Peggy, Peggy Grimes says, "What's up?" But she's standing Hello, right there. But she's standing right there. <laughs> hey. So we got Peggy here. She is actually going to win an SCA contest tomorrow. So she was just dropping in to give us a hello. And um, she's going to pick up some swag for some fellow SCAers. She's going after that uh, SCA bounty. She went after the bounty. Uh, if you guys didn't know and you're an SCA, if you win, uh, no one has won yet on a Rectech Pellet Grill. The first win will be $500 from us to you. Thank you. Uh, and every other win after that is going to be a bounty of $250. So definitely get uh, those Rectechs cranked up. Uh, get the bullseyes headed your way. Uh, the SCA is an awesome organization. Uh, it's 
very, very, uh, very fair like a cheaper way. sport. It's a super fair sport as well. Yeah. And again, a first place win guarantees you uh, a bid to the SCA World Championships. That's right, the World Championships. I believe it's, uh, what is that, the first week in October, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Gotta get on that horse. Yeah. How long to heat one? Hold on. Questions? One gallon of oil at medium heat. So you're probably looking about 10 minutes. We're looking for 325 degrees. Now it's hot out here. It's hot, hot, hot. So it won't take as long. Now if it was like super windy and 30 degrees, it would take a little longer. Yeah. But Matador does a great job with that wind windshield there. Good to go. Yeah. 199 available at rectechgrove.com. Free shipping. Uh, it comes with the adapter so you can use the small bottles of gas or the large bottles of gas. It also comes because it's super portable and comes with two bags, two carrying cases. So uh, it's freaking awesome. You can fry, bake. You can't bake it. No. But uh, you, you can bake. You can bake it, and if you take this, not with the oil, and put it in the bullseye, it fits perfect. And if the pan also fits in the bullseye. Yes, the pan also fits in the bullseye. Yep. So you can also, uh, Ray uh, got cheated out of a chili competition this year, uh, cooking uh, with the Matador pan in the bullseye. And hey, you should have won that one, baby. That, that brisket was, chili was no joke. They had beef tenderloin in there. I mean, that, was, that, that brisket was money, no, no pun intended. They were afraid of it. All right, so now that we got a little less traffic, let's talk about our dredge. Cool. So when I make my what fried dredge? chicken. So the dredge will be the flour mixture. So when I make my dredge, I tend to go a little light on the seasoning, and here's why. I want to pack all that flavor under that crust, so that when I fry it, if I've got too much seasoning on the outside, too much sugar, it's all going to burn and not be tasty. So I want to go super flavorful in my marinade and a little light on my dredge. Okay. So I'm going to cheat and use some pepper dust. Okay, so we got some great salt, pepper, garlic, dense pepper dust, available at rectechgrills.com, $10.95, some parsley in there. And I know this is going to sound silly, but taste it. Because Did you, you just say do? taste it? Chef? Taste it. Taste what? it. Goodness gracious. What does it taste like? It tastes like flour with a little bit of heifer dust. <laughs> so what we're going to do? <laughs> Put more heifer Put dust. Put more heifer dust. dust. <laughs> okay, Colonel, look out, okay? So you're not, you know, it's not going to hurt you or anything like that. Nope. What's up, Diamond so Dave? Why would you do this? Well, you know what? A lot of people, when they cook food, they don't taste it. So they wonder why, when it's all done, it tastes like taste along the way. I can see there's, uh, you know, that pretzel salt in there, the super fresh herbs in there. Much more flavor. Um, that Ben's heifer dust ain't no joke, man. Yeah. Good business. All right, so that's what we're actually going to put the chicken in before we fry it, right? Yep, one of the steps. So now on to and a very important step. Again, we're going to pack flavor. Flavor! Flavor! We're going to flavor time. High energy! What's up, Olivia? Hello. I like your overalls. Thank you. So, how can we bring more flavor? I mean, this girl's hot. Whoa, no, buddy. It, it's, no, it's, it's buddy. hot. It's she. No, no, stop. It's hot. She, okay. Oh, this is the buddy. this is the dirty girl Hello. Bloody Mary mix habanero. Man, that is a beautiful, beautiful package. God, that. Is she All right. A single. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put about a cup or two of this in here, and I don't measure. This has uh, the the habanero in it. Yep. So we're gonna get some great Worcestershire, salt, pepper, spicy. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna do about the same amount of buttermilk. So how much was that? Um, so it's the uh, same amount. We're Sorry. at one quart. So we've got two cups of Bloody Mary mix and two cups of, Sorry. of buttermilk. Two cups. Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix. And DirtyGirl.net. I'm sorry, Ray. I know Follow you. at Dirty Girl. I know. I know Ray hates pickles. So oh no. We're gonna put in. About a cup of pickle juice. A cup, okay, so two, two, one, okay. And then to bring that dirty girl home. Oh, it's full circle, buddy. No, no. We're gonna put the dirty girl in here. Oh, we're not, we're not bringing her home. We're not gonna bring her home? So we're gonna put about a half a <laughs> cup of dirty girl into that. Beautiful. And All mix right. it up. So this, so this is what we'll let the chicken sit in. So we will put our chicken tenders in mix here. Mix this well. And we will let that go for about two to four hours. Overnight is great. Two to four in the fridge. Yep. But please don't leave your chicken out, everybody. Please don't. So this right here. Smell of it. Come on, smell this. Smell that. Let me get my hand out of here. Lots of flavor. Now the acidity from the pickle juice and the Bloody Mary mix will go ahead and tenderize that chicken. So if you're doing a chicken legs, chicken breast, you know, 
Yeah. Anything? That's my marinade. Chicken legs, tender. chicken breast, any kind of chicken, you throw it in there. there. Yep. Would, it, would that work with anything else? Absolutely. Like I'm thinking in my head when we did the, uh, it's similar to what we did when we did the fried steak. Sure did, absolutely. Your steak nuggets would be great in there. Yeah. Um, huh. That's going to be delicious. Y'all got Dino Dan thinking. Hey, Dino oh, Dan. Dino Dan. Yeah, uh, buddy. Good to hear, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. So, Shout out to everybody out there watching. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. I think uh, when you get working on right. the uh, potato salad. So right now, we're going to already get working on the potato salad. Yeah. You want to grab a, get that other matador preheated on uh, like medium low heat? Okay, cool. We have four pounds of bacon. Four pounds? Four pounds of bacon. Is that thick cut? That is thick cut. You can make your own. You want to cut these in about an inch thick. And again, if your bacon's good and cold, it's easier to cut. It's been sitting outside for about five minutes, so it's a little soft. But sharp knife. And we're doing is we're gonna create lardon, which is gonna be little crisp lardon, crisp nuggets of deliciousness. And this is gonna be the base for our potato salad. So this is a very light, healthy potato salad. So that's Buffalo Bills Zubas. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot hate. Go Bills! Jim Go Kelly! Bells. Love you, buddy! <laughs> Weren't they the champs in like the late 80s? Early 90s? Greg's ankles are sweating right now. I'm telling y'all. So, what we do is we'll cook that off. We're going to save all that fat and deliciousness. And that's going to be the base of our sauce. So, we're going to dress the uh, potatoes. So, we're going to take uh, our potatoes. We're going to use a waxy potato. So, those of you that watched our shopping video. Waxy. Waxy potato. Shout so, out uh, to the Wednesday shopping videos. Y'all uh, check those out. Greg goes to the grocery store. It's fun. He gives you little grocery store tips from a world master chef. And if you manage a grocery store in the Augusta area and you see us walking around, please don't ask us to leave. Please. Please. I just want to buy some groceries. Sam's <laughs> Club. Yeah. You're following us around. I feel like I was, you know, what's we're doing? Just, we're just there to shoot buy a little bit. We're fun. promoting your products. I mean, I could out. see if I was out in public wearing these, and I'd be like, okay, what? There's something wrong with yeah, this guy. Yeah, making a fool of yourself if you're, you know. No, I was just trying to buy tips some tricks. I was just trying to buy some chicken. Do you guys have any grocery store tips or tricks that you would like to share with the Rectech Nation? Put those in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna get somebody on making a list right now. <laughs> hey, Madeline. They're gonna put their tips and tricks that they would like to share with everybody in the comments. Could you I, compile that for me? I sure can. And I'm really curious. Yeah, Madeline. I know there's some people like that, that make some mean fried chicken. Mm. I'm curious what you guys use to marinate your fried chicken. Oh, we got a second one. So yeah, if you guys marinate your fried chicken in, it, in anything, let us know. Put it in the comments below. Me personally, you guys have seen me. I've done it, uh, pickle brines. You know, we've done uh, the lanes. We like to brine them as well. Uh, this is essentially like a brine, right, Chef? No doubt. You can actually put like regular boneless, skinless chicken breasts in there or pork chops and then grill them right off in your bullseye. Buttermilk makes a great, uh, great uh, I think we're good. Get the, we're ready for the sizzle? Cool. <laughs> that sizzle's sexy. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. This will probably take about 20 minutes. And you really want to get that heat over medium low. You don't want to burn the bacon. But all that fat's going to come out. Man, this trailer is convenient. We had so much Woo! fun cooking last week at Bob Richards. We decided. Hey, I got a question for you guys. Do you guys remember what we called this trailer? We said the name of it last week. What did we call this trailer? It's got a special name. Shout out to uh, shout out to Trey and Finger for naming it just by writing a name on the key thing, and it's stuck. <laughs> by Cranky, it's stuck. By Cranky. So. Stuff. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take some chicken that we have in here, I'm gonna put it in here. Okay. We wanna get, get a ready. sneak peek of what that carnita mix looks like. Come on, you gonna follow me in the back of in the back, the back of this the awesome trailer. I almost gave it away. I almost slipped. But you know what? When you're wearing coveralls like this, you, you just maintain your professionalism at all times. Ooh boy. Alright, come on up boys and girls. So there was no pulled pork left over at my house because my kids ate it all. I tried. I tried to have leftover pulled pork. I, you know, I'm sorry, Rectech Nation. I failed you. 
So today what we did was we'll post the recipe up later. We took a raw pork foot, we sliced it kind of thin, we marinated it in our uh, moho, we grilled it off in the bullseye, and then what we did was we added it to this pan to uh, kind of braise it off with a little more of that marinade. We put some peppers and onions in there. This stuff looks sick, Greg. It's hot. So what we'll Woo! do is we will cook this down, and then what we'll do is we'll shred it all into that juice. And then we'll take that pork, that onions, that peppers, and we'll crisp it up on the uh, sear kit. You can also use the matador as a great way for this one. I want to eat this right and, now. And, um, I mean, other than the fact that it's hot! Sorry, pantry pause. Pantry pause. Yeah, I can't pick that up. That's too hot. Do hey, it. you know what is not Do hot? I'll tell you what's not hot. Ice cold, easy peasy oh. IPA. <laughs> Hey, my buddy. main man, Greg. Where, where'd that guy come from? And my main man, Jody. Thank you, buddy. So, it's o'clock. I'm gonna go inside and take care of this one. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we have it's a Monday, Friday. We have a beer assistant now at Rec Tech Rooms. Yeah. I thought that was only thanks, on. Uh, thanks, Ray. What's that car show in uh, Texas? The uh, monkey car, uh, gas monkey garage. Gas they have a beer garage. assistant. Yeah, so yeah. Hepsi can be our beer assistant. That's right. Uh, and Mike Bowers from Guns Up Barbecue uh, sent us these. Mike, we really appreciate it. Uh, easy peasy IPA. It's part they're of coming the coming to pick uh, up grills. Mail Day Monday. Look, we got people wanting to shop here. We're drawing people from the road just by being here. It's amazing. It's Augusta, so you know it's hot. I think we had a guess on the name of the trailer here. What? I guess if it was Ethel. 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 No. Yeah. You got a lot of bullpens, everyone uh, thinks. The bullpen is a good, yeah. It's a really good one. Got a product. That was a really good one. That was a good one. Shout out. Not there. right. Not incorrect. Incorrect, yeah. everyone. Give them a hand. But great. It's, okay, I'll give you a hint. Kobe it's Bryant. two, two words. By crikey. By crikey. But not that. <laughs> I'm thinking of the, I'm thinking of the older Kobe Bryant. Not the one. Number eight? Uh, number eight. <laughs> Both words have five letters. Oh, there you go. Most uh, most poisonous. Uh, you're getting there. Rep, rep, it's not even a reptilian. Man, you're, you're it's very. You're if this thing bites thing. you, you're dead. Like it just, ah, you know, just bites you just like that. Whew, that bull looks good on that competition card, man. And that front folding shelf. Look at that. That thing looks sick. Oh, we got that Y pellet Wi-Fi controller going as well with the dual meat probes. 40-pound hopper. Got that 40-pound hopper, stainless steel hopper lid, stainless steel body, stainless steel smokestack cap. That thing's never going to rust. Oh, somebody got it right. Yeah, Adam Whoa, got it. Adam got Berenix. It. Adam? Congratulations, Adam. This is delicious. Should That's we give Adam a little something? I think we should. What should we give him? Um, figure it out. No, I can't get one of these. We don't have any of these. Okay. What about an apron? Let's send him an apron. Send him an apron. That's a nice apron. Hey, just a nice waxed apron available at rectechgirls.com. You can put stuff in it. It ties in the back. It's got a beautiful wax finish. The chef works. No grease chef penetrate works. that apron. Yeah, that's, mm. that's why I'm wearing the coveralls. I mean, you can't be too safe when frying food. That's right. That's right. Cool. Anyway. Congratulations, Adam. Let's go, Congratulations, Adam. Let's go stir our baby. The best. If the name of the trailer is Black Mamba, those of you who don't know, uh, this is Black Mamba. Um, you know, she will be a regular occurrence here on the Funday Fridays. Um, what is it going to take us about uh, 30 more minutes to come back, Greg? Yeah, I think about 20, 30 minutes. We'll uh, get our chicken marinating and our, our uh, buttermilk and dirty girl mixture. We're going to continue to get this bacon cooked down. Would we season this bacon? Absolutely nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing Everyone. yet. Yet is the key word because we're going to take that flavor elevator to the top floor. Top floor. To the short. penthouse, the penthouse, the front row, where you live with Rectech Lifestyle. This Easy Peasy IPA is delicious. You guys know I love Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Uh, shout out to everybody working at the office. I know you guys are working your butts off. I know the phones are ringing. I love you. We'll be back in just a little bit with some food. Um, yeah, we'll be back in about 20, 30 minutes. You guys, set your notifications. Uh, please hit the like button. And please hit the uh, onion face for us. Uh, it would mean the world. It would also mean the world if you, you know, answered any of the questions in the comments. Thank you so much. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. Friday, Friday, cutting up the for the Friday, Friday, Friday. Hey guys, right off River Watch, outside, cooking food. Hey everybody. <laughs> Chef Grace over there talking to Peggy.
welcome to this installment of Inside Rec Tech Studio. Well traveled SCA cooker, Miss Peggy Grimes. Miss Grimes comes from us today from just side, just outside the Atlanta, Georgia area. So about a two hour drive to the Rec Tech World Headquarters in Augusta, Georgia. Peggy, it's an honor to have you here today with us. Georgia, he's in the Tipton area. So I did my first one. I loaded up a grill in the front seat of a Camaro convertible, threw a cooler in the back, did my first steak cook off, and was not last. I got hooked, hook, line, and sinker. It's an easy thing you can load in. Um, generally, your cook's meeting is 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning. We have ancillaries that can vary from an appetizer to a one bite dish to anything with bacon, which was last week, anything with Budweiser, wings, whole variety of things. Um, the SCA is unique in that they provide the meat for you. You're given, you draw a poker chip for your order of selection. You choose two ribeyes off the table. You turn in one of those. The other is for you to do what you wish. Um, got a 30 minute turn in window. It's judged double blind. Judges have no idea who it is that's turning in the steak. Um, average payoff for first place is a thousand bucks. Wow. So, what, maybe a 10 minute cook, you can get a grand. That's fantastic. And a trip to the World Championships, which is in Fort Worth, yes. Texas, and a big old Rec Tech level party. So what I'm hearing you say here is the SCA is extremely affordable to get into. They provide you the meat so you don't have to buy a $400 Wagyu brisket to win. They're typically one day events, so you're not away from your family for you know, the entire weekend. Uh, they're pretty regionally specific, so they're all over. They're events pretty much every Friday or Saturday. You can uh, really express yourself and, and have a lot of fun with that and make $1,000. Who doesn't want to make $1,000? I don't mind making $1,000. Mm -hmm. So. What we, to do one. There you go. We'll definitely, you know what, I'm going to take you up on that. Uh, so, shout out to SCA. We got SCA memberships uh, the other week, and we will absolutely get out there to do that and see. I just competed in my first KCBS event a few weeks back, and we'll definitely get out there and, and rock a, uh, an SCA event. I'll be rocking these coveralls at an SCA event. <laughs> Hopefully it's at 100 degrees outside. So you cook uh, on Rectech grills. You're using a, a trailblazer and a bullseye for your grills. How would you say those grills are going to be giving you an advantage uh, amongst those that are you know, cooking on <laughs> other style cookers? Um, I have traveled most with the trailblazer this year. This is actually the second time the bullseye's got to come along in my SCA trailer over there. Um, Shout out SCA trailer. Hi SCA trailer. Um, they're both so freaking consistent. I know when I set my temperature that that's going to be the temperature my steak's going to be. I'm not going to have any une unevenness due to wind gusts or anything like that that some of the other grills do. Um, my charcoal's not going to go out. I I know I can count on the grill. It's up to me to put the steak in. So you had said before that you actually get to pick your two ribeye steaks. And the judges, and, and from previous conversations, you have said only eat a bite out of the spinalis. What are some of your inside tricks to make sure that that steak is, you know, properly seasoned, properly seared, well rested, and, and, and you know, if you look at SCA uh, rules. And what know, does SCA stand for? Steak Cook-Off Association. So Steak Cook-Off Association. You don't garnish the box. So you literally put the steak in the box. Um, without revealing your, your winning, you know, secrets, but what kind of tricks do you have as far as making sure that that steak is evenly cooked, well seasoned, well rested, and, and perfectly presented in that box? Well, the number one not so secret is grill dates. It for what we sell as the sear kit. They are a phenomenal tool to make your appearance score skyrocket. Puts beautiful even grill marks on there. Also boost your grill temp about 100 degrees. Free heat, it's awesome. Um, there are several different methods that people use to cooking steaks all in one, from the reverse sear to a hot and fast. I've used both equally as successfully. I do layer my seasonings, um, give each seasoning time 
time to set in with meat sweat a little bit. Meat sweats, shout out meat sweats. Meat sweat, 1116. Um, I've tried a couple different flavor profiles. One thing I encourage people not to go too salty because the judge is getting a one half ounce bite of that spinalis that they cut off with a plastic knife. That's how the texture scores. So hashtag tender steak, they cut it with a plastic knife. Huh. So, if, again, if you're interested in utilizing a sear kit for your Rectech grills, they are all available for all of our grills at rectechgrills.com. We've got custom cut grill grates for the uh, Rectech Bullseye, the Mini, uh, sorry, the Trailblazer, the RT340, as well as the uh, RT590 and the RT700 Bull. Uh, those custom sear kits are <laughs> custom fit to fit your grill. They do a great job. Again, they're always available on rectechgrills.com. What about that Rectech bounty you're going to get tomorrow? Oh, I'm planning on bringing home 500 bucks for being the first person to um, win on a rec tech. I also have friends, Casey Jones, that will be competing in Iowa at an event, and Roddy Trevino will be competing in Texas this weekend. So shout out, Roddy. So shout out to all of those rec tech grills cookers out there at SCA events. So Ray put out a bounty so that uh, a pellet grill has never won an SCA event. And uh, the rec check is going to be the first pellet grill to do that. Miss Peggy Grimes, our esteemed guest today on Inside the Rec Tech Studio, is going to be rocking that first place victory tomorrow. I sense it right now. These special coveralls just give me <laughs> magic powers to see the future. You're going to crush it tomorrow. You're going to rock it out on that Rec Tech Trailblazer utilizing the, uh, the sear kit. Peggy, I wish you the best of luck tomorrow. I wish all of you the best of luck tomorrow cooking at your SCA events. And if those rocking uh, the Rectech grills, go ahead and uh, take a picture. Hashtag it Rectech Lifestyle so we can take a look at it and we'd love to share those results. So Peggy, I wish you the best of luck next uh, this Saturday. And this is, you're going to be in Tennessee, correct? Correct. Johnson City, Tennessee. Johnson, C Johnson City, Tennessee. Look out. Miss Grimes is coming in. She's going to tear that town up. That Trailblazer is going to rock it. SCA isn't ready for what's going to happen tomorrow. We'll see you guys later. You guys, that's steakcookoffs.com for all the information and scheduling of the next events. Deep, deep, deep. Uh, here it is. Oh. It's not awesome. unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Da, 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 da. So, Greg, I got a joke for you. <laughs> what do you call? Someone who takes care of chickens. What do you call someone who takes care of chickens? I got another one. A chicken tender. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. Hashtag dad joke of the year. Hashtag dad joke. Chicken tender, everybody. <laughs> All right. That's Boy, cool. it's hot out here in Belize. <clears throat> I mean, Augusta. <laughs> you don't see the coast right there? There's a, there's a, a feeding frenzy of sharks right over there. It's a beautiful blue sky. Uh, about 98 degrees-ish. 95% humidity. Only 95% humidity. Only 95% humidity. It's just amazing we're out here enjoying ourselves in the Rectech lifestyle with uh, these hot, hot grills. They are fired up right now. And we're back. Monday, Friday, July 6th. The Friday edition. Friday edition. Friday, Friday edition. edition. Try to fit it in, Meredith. Yeah. Madeline. Madeline. Matilda. Amanda. <laughs> Jessica. Yep. Yeah. So what do you want to do first, Chef? So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get these potatoes sliced up. So we're going to do salad. a grilled potato salad. So earlier you saw us cook four pounds of bacon in the matador. It's about 90% done. What we'll do is when these potatoes are done, we'll turn it back up. We'll finish rendering out that bacon season this off. What we want to do is we want to cut these about a quarter of an inch thick. A quarter of an inch thick. Okay. okay. And, if nice you, and, thin. and if you have a uh, mandolin, you can do this uh, on the mandolin. Little chick -chick -chick -chick. It looks mandolin, like a small like a guitar, guitar, right? Yeah. yeah a guitar. <laughs> but we, will, uh, we will put these on the RT700 bowl, which we have preheated to 350 degrees. And we will cook these for about I don't know, 25, 25 minutes or so. Now the bull, Greg, that's the uh, one of the Rectech grills with uh, the Y pellet Wi-Fi connectivity, isn't it? Right? That is in fact one of the grills with the Y pellet Wi-Fi technology. So you can in fact monitor the temperature from your smart device 
with the Rectech Rosette, oh, there right? Potato. You, you most certainly could monitor that cook via the Rectech Grills. That bowl is $11.99 on RectechGrills.com. Comes with a six year warranty. Free shipping. Free shipping on that grill. Stainless steel, critical components, a fire pot that doesn't, that has never gone out, you can park a truck on it. Hot flash ceramic ignition system. Ceramic ignition system, hot flash, the only one that I trust. Micro polished bullhorn handles. Micro -polished, Iconic! Micro polished stainless bullhorn steel handles. bullhorn handles. I'm just. Slicing stainless steel. steel hardware. Baked on black porcelain, porcelain coated lid. lid. Right. Six year warranty, stainless steel, controller shelf, stainless steel, hopper lid. A warranty so good. They made it six years. If our oil is hot enough. There we go. Not quite, Not maybe quite. it's about a 300 degrees. Sort of down a little, up a little bit more. on that. Come on over here, man. Watch some potatoes. Amazing. Woo. Let me get some of these. Can I get some of these chicken tenders ready? Put some of this. Uh, I'm wearing sunglasses. I know you can't see, but I got my eyes closed. It's too hot out here. Woo. Roasty toasty. No beer today, Jody? Oh, yeah. What? We, got, uh, we got easy peasy. IPA sent to us from Mr. Mike Bowers of Guns Up Barbecue. Thank you, Mike. We've also got a, a few others that um, Miss Peggy Grimes sent us. We'll be showing you guys those a little later. Soon to be Soon SCA, to be SCA champion. champion bounty winner. You guys are a dynamic duo. Oh! You have to you have to come up with some super names. Maybe we can get some help with that. Can I? Yeah. Be, what are your comment names? below. I kind of feel like. <laughs> so what? What would uh, Jody? So yesterday we threw up the uh, that comment on this, and I was laying down on the ground with the microphone and uh, near the sewer vent, or whatever it was, <laughs> water drainage. <laughs> And uh, there's some pretty funny comments on that one. I appreciate everybody coming. That was I'm not, awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like coverall boy right now. Yeah. Cover it's about a thousand degrees <laughs> under these. Coverall. Shout out to uh, Zuba. So we put a we put about a Zuba. Zuba. So we put a, we put a couple <laughs> tablespoons of uh, olive oil on these potatoes. We hit it with a little bit of Colden's freaking Greek. Great herbs in here. Great salt and pepper. It's so Greek, it's freaking Greek. It's freaking Greek. We want to get these good and coated. And we're going to get these in a nice single layer on the RT700 bowl. I'm not using a mat today because I want to get some uh, some marks on these. So, if I was using a grill mat, I would go ahead and put that mat here and line them all up. Grill mat available at rectechgrills.com. So, some great grilling accessories, one of my favorites. We're going to grill these on the RT700 bowl, 350 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, we won't have to flip these over. We'll just go uh, a nice single layer. Meat and tater. Meat, meat and taters! I don't even need to ask. That's, a, that's the superhero next. So which one's meat? <laughs> <laughs> meat and tater. I love it. And today you can call me Tater Salad. Oh, Ron White Joe. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go in the back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna go in the back of the uh, the black mamba. We'll get the this, black mamba. The black mamba. 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 Bye, Crikey. We'll get these uh, going. You're gonna keep dredging. Dredge. You stay in here. You come with me. Where are we going? Well, Friday chick tater. Gonna be a good day, tater. Gonna be a good day, tater. <laughs> so we are using the Rectech grill stainless steel front shelf today. Why? Because you can do that. Line these potatoes up. Shout out John Franklin, All American. Shout out John Franklin. Ones. 
<laughs> so what's your favorite potato salad recipe out there? John Oaks says thank you for that. Thank you for your help on his delicious brisket. John Oaks, you are more than welcome. John Oaks, uh, I think he sent me some messages about his brisket cook. We helped him out. That thing looked delicious. So you're saying they can just contact you and ask about I mean, their cooks? I will say, people are kind of surprised when uh, they call up here and I answer the phone and they're like, hey, Chef Greg? I said, yeah. He's like, hey, how about I ask you about some pork butt? Or how about some ribs? Or, you know. You call up here to buy a front shelf and you get world-class cooking advice. Joel and Adam Doolittle says the secret to celery salt or the secret is celery seeds in the tater salad. I'm a fan of celery seeds in my, uh, my coleslaw, too. Jay Smith, 1002. Can't wait till this bull ships. Oh, snap. You're going to love that grill. Should be on the way soon, buddy. Almost full. Whale eggs. That's the secret. Whale eggs, they're fun, so you gotta peel them. Alright, so we got about five pounds of potatoes. We're gonna jump over here to the stampede because I got a couple more. Go ahead and load this one up too. Why? Because it's here, it's hot, it's ready to go. We got our carnita mix. Working hard. Love that Zuba's bib. Mm. Dude, this thing's awesome. Ready? Oh, that oh. was for you. That was my uh, best Jackson 5 impression. Apologize for all of you that know I actually have dance. Smoking Fire names. That's pretty good. Smoking Fire is a good one. We got all these potatoes on. There we go. Boom. Go back and see how our chicken tenders are looking. We'll fry those for about six to eight minutes. Woo! I got a grilled potato facial. No hook. What Whoa! A what, Greg? I think I got a grilled potato facial. Uh, wow. Up there. Wild. It's grills are. 350 degrees. I'm looking good. Ready to drop some chicken tenders? Yeah, buddy. Got so that uh, oil nice and hot. One of, the, one of the keys when you're frying, especially when cooking on the matador in general, is mise en place, right? So mise en place is making sure you're getting everything ready. And it's not just your ingredients, but you, especially when frying, you want a nice clean pan with some absorbent material. So you can use newspaper, paper towels, a wire rack, one of the Rectech towels, available at rectechgrills.com. Rectech towel does a great job with that. Cotton, so lint-free, embroidered, with the beautiful, iconic Rectech logo. It's fancy. Biggie and Smalls. Which one's Biggie? I could take a hint. I could take a hint. I could take a hint. Thanks. I'm, I think I'm a little offended by some of these names. I might have to jump on the low-carb keto diet. Captain Smokey oh, and the shout Bandit. Shout out to all those people on a low-carb diet. Shout out to all those keto folks. I've been living the keto life the past week. You know, Y'all didn't know if you saw my post uh, about getting ready for July 4th, I had to make my wife and my sister-in-law some keto, some low-carb keto ribs. So that required me not putting any sugar on the ribs, like no I am, I have done 100% of my life. Um, but no, they were great. I used Ben's heifer dust. So awesome. Look at that chicken tender. It's pretty easy. So that one chicken tender is perfectly cooked. Yep. Perfectly cooked. You did good, Chef. I mean, I had nothing to do with it. Now, you uh, put that one in there. Well, this one might not quite be done because it's not floating. Is so that true? One of the keys to fried foods is the chicken tender will actually float when it's fully cooked. Uh, you still want to that science or that, is that just you like still want to give dishes? it a chance? I, you know what? It's fried chicken 101. So what you want to do is definitely check that with your uh, Rectech bullpen. We'll make sure it is at least 165 degrees. 165 for any type of poultry, everybody. Yeah, be safe out there. Be safe. But I think we are uh, ready to add some more, huh? Do it, buddy. And when you put things in grease, one of two things. 
Do you, one, do you want to throw it in there? You most certainly don't. You don't you know, want to throw I like, it in there. I like Matt Acosta behind that camera. Okay, He's wearing shorts today. He's not wearing these sexy coveralls. Okay? Girl shorts. Girl shorts. Right? Little tight, little high above, mid thigh. Those are some dad shorts. No. But we want to no. make sure he likes his, legs, likes his legs. And we're not going to burn them. So when you put it in, okay, drop carefully away from you. So I was always told just to throw it in there. So if it happens to splash a little bit, and you're not wearing these sexy Zubas. Zubas. Coveralls. Shut up. The grease will go away from you. Go away from you. Okay. Go away from you. So, one important thing too is you don't want to overfill your grease. So these are jumbo chicken tenders. We'll add about 12 to 15. Because again, the Matador has great recovery time. Because as we're adding these cold chicken tenders into this grease, that temperature grease is going to drop a little bit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Big Easy and Captain Peasy. I like that. Uh. And when you're putting these in, you want to try to keep them kind of in that center two thirds or so. Full range. So that's 13, 14, 15. There you go. So we let those cook for about six to eight minutes. And uh, we'll flip them over about halfway through and we'll call, them, uh, we'll call them done. Now when they come out, I already know these are gonna be delicious. Why? Because I cooked them on Tuesday. Because you cooked them. I cooked them on Tuesday. They were delicious. Um, you can hit them a little. You guys saw some of the stories. If you watch our stories on Facebook or Instagram, you knew what we were cooking, how we were cooking, and how we were doing it. So you guys make sure you uh, uh, hit up the stories during the week. Watch those. We've got a lot of awesome tips. And we're getting ready for Monday, Friday every week. Chef Greg also takes a trip to Wednesday. I started a new thing called Mail Day Mondays. People have really been started to send us a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to open up a bunch of boxes and see what people send us. Uh, so join us for that as well. So again, we marinated these in our Dirty Girl Habanero. And it's, you know, it, it is hot, but it's not that hot. No, it's, it's, it's not great. overpowered. It's a good flavor. I've made hot. great gazpachos with it. I've added in some salsas. I've made chipinos with it. You know, I've cooked mussels with it. Becky and I make the best Bloody Marys with this Bloody Mary mix. <laughs> That's what we do with it. Well, it's a vodka. A vodka Bloody Mary. See, we don't drink enough Bloody Marys, but I can cook with it, and yes. I'll use that bottle up. It's awesome. Being able to do get those new different flavors in there that people aren't really used to. So when they come over to the house, you know they're like, "Wow!" You know, it yeah. really blows them away. So shout out Dirty Girl available at RecTechGrills.com. Nope, not available at RecTechGrills.com. No. Did we get the new website up? Nope. No. DirtyGirl.net right now, everybody. Uh, look at your uh, Kroger's. If you don't have it in Kroger's, ask your manager for it. They can get it. Ask for it at Kroger. Thank you, Kroger. Thank you, Kroger. Shout out Kroger. Maybe we shop at Kroger next week. I don't know. I think you can get it on Amazon. Amazon. I think you can get it on Amazon. So go to look it for a Dirty Girl on Amazon, and I think they uh, will fulfill your order there. It's uh, delicious. They've got margarita mix. They've got dirt, uh, Bloody Mary mix. Like the we just aged did. olive. That, I was oh, about to say that. The only sorry. aged olive juice on the market, I do believe it's aged 10 months. That aged olive. Uh, it's very good for uh, uh, martinis. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram's back. I want to give a shout out to Matt Lane. Shout out Matt Lane, uh, the sales manager, working hard this week. Um, no, he's, uh, Jeff, we'll put that link in the comments at the end of this video. Gentleman. We'll put a link to the Bloody Mary on Amazon. So take a look. Oh, chicken down. Sorry. Sorry. So look at this. Look at this chicken right here. Look at how even that's cooked. Look at that crust. Nice and crisp, not burnt.
say wait, delicious. Wait. It's almost like Bojangles. Oh, it's, it's, it's better. Oh, it's better than Bojangles. Jacob's a church. Better. That's what that I was trying to describe the flavor earlier, and I couldn't. That's exactly what it is. You get some spice. You get a little sweetness from that tomato in there. Yeah. We got people coming to look, buy some grills. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Woo! Thank you, Stephen Casto. Everybody, Stephen just posted that link to the Dirty Girl in the in the Thanks, comments. Thanks, Stephen. You the best, buddy. All right, so we got about six minutes on those chicken tenders. We got our potatoes grilling. What would they normally take? About ten minutes. Uh, these are big, big tenders, so about eight to ten minutes. Um, if they're smaller, obviously less time. Okay. And make sure you shake your extra flour off like you did, because again, that oil is still nice and clean. Yeah. If you dump a whole bunch of you know flour in there, that oil is going to burn a little bit. It's not going to be as efficient. That's right. So, yeah, probably about six Here. minutes on those. We got our potatoes grilling on the RT 700 pull. We got our bacon ready to go. We got we're about, just going to throw those potatoes in with this bacon grease. And you're going to add what else, Chef? A little Dijon mustard. Ooh! A little zip, a little zing. I think right? you called it English mustard in your uh, London Royal. Yep. So no, wait good. a second. What was it, Ben? We were Stone ground mustard. Oh, you're talking about beef Wellington? Beef Wellington, beef Wellington yeah. He's got a beef Wellington. <laughs> you calling it London Broil. Hey, beef Wellington. I wanted to call it I London Broil all week this, this week. Good. But yeah, you threw, you put that same mustard in the beef Wellington video that yep. we we're going to post uh, here soon. Yep. That's a good recipe. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing. Be on the lookout, guys. Uh, our video editors have been working really, really hard. Uh, they've got a lot of new recipe videos coming out. Um, it's it's <laughs> it's rocking and rolling, baby. A lot of videos. A lot, a lot of, of videos. A lot of work. A lot of work. Everybody's been busting their butt. Yep. Uh, what else we got coming up? So we're going to finish frying all this. we got our grilled potato salad. We've got our pork and chili carnitas that we'll wrap up. Okay. So they're, they're finishing braising on the, uh, the RT 590 Stampede. So how do we do that? So normally you got some leftover pulled pork after the 4th of July. Normally? Me, not so much. I cooked two butts. My kids tore that up. So what I did was this morning, I grabbed a pork butt, cut the bone off, sliced it in about an inch thick steaks, seasoned it with Ray's Front Row Master Blend, we seared the bejesus out of it on the bullseye. We took it off, added it to a foil pan with some mojo. And mojo is simply uh, it's like orange juice, lemon juice, cumin, garlic, a whole bunch of delicious flavor. You can cheat and buy it pre-done at the store. It's at the but, international section, the Hispanic yep, section. Absolutely, it's by the Latin section. It's fantastic. So we put some chilies uh, with some onions in that pan with that pork, wrapped it tight with uh, some aluminum foil. Put it on the 590, and it's been cooking for about two hours. It's just about full tender, and we're going to shred that. And then to bring it up, we're going to kind of crust it over on the bullseye with the sear kit and make it nice and crispy because nothing better than crispy pork. That's right. And then we're going to wrap that up in a flour tortilla with some cojito cheese. Flour tortillas. None of that corn mess. Because there's a bunch of corn tortilla haters corn out there. Corn tortillas. That... I love me some nice, uh, warm, toasted corn tortillas. Guys, do you like flour tortillas or do you like corn tortillas? And I know you're going to say flour because I know the answer. Flour. But flour. corn tortillas. Flour. I'm sorry. I got to disagree flour. with you here. Greg loves corn tortillas. I love corn tortillas. It is the craziest thing. I love them. I do not like corn tortillas one bit. I don't like the texture. I don't like uh, uh, the flavor. Ooh, uh, Steven Castro says corn all the way. Oh, high Get five. Out of here. Get high out five. Of here. John Oates is on flour. Flour power, baby. Flour power. Why can't we love them both? Says Adam. Because <laughs> I don't like corn tortillas. Double stuff. Double stuff. Is that our name? Or flour that... with chicken, corn with pork. I like that rule. Good. Flour with chicken, corn with pork. <laughs> I, I can live. I can, I can live, live, live with that. that. I can live like that. So then, is steak the tiebreaker? Yeah. Or what about yeah, burritos? You can't do a burrito in a, in a corn tortilla. No, you couldn't. Man. Corn for the win. They love corn. What about a quesadilla? You can't do a quesadilla in a corn tortilla. They love corn. Flour all the way, people. But you could take that corn tortilla with a little refried bean, a little flour tortilla, and then you're being wrapped up. So like, Taco Bell Sounds like out. you're messing up a really good flour. So we got a lot more chicken to cook off. Bunch of chicken, everybody. Bunch of chicken. Bunch of chicken. We've got more beer to drink. Uh, beers, yes. Beers. Got it's more hot chicken. out here. Got and more potatoes. Jody, salad. they are inviting us all over the nation. Let's do it. With Look. the Black Mamba. Let's do it. What? They want us. They want us in their hometown. So let's ask them. 
Rec Tech Road Trip. Oh. What's your hometown? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Rec Tech Road no, Trip. No, y'all are opening up a Pandora's box that we might not be able to close. So where do you guys want to see the Black uh, Mamba? Yeah. So if you want to see the Mamba, you can come to 2004 Westside Drive in Augusta, Ray Georgia. Ray was talking about this one idea he had. And I, Ray, I hope you're not uh, going to be upset with me saying it. But he did want to go somewhere and cook something. I can leave it that general, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So that may, you know. Maybe what we do, maybe not. Or maybe what we do. Never Rec Tech Roadshow. I would love Rec Tech Roadshow. Where do you guys want to see go, the Rec Tech Roadshow? Who wouldn't want to go on a road trip with So, Ray? where are we going to go and what are we going to cook? The Black Mamba Tour. Hashtag Black Mamba Tour. That's in Kingsville, Maryland. Yeah. Yeah, I would go cook some blue crab. There you go. Absolutely. I'm with you, Dave. I'll go out to LA. Or, you know, we can go. Uh, Lower Alabama. Alabama, let's go. We can go to a hunt lodge. Go to LA. We can go to a hunt lodge somewhere. We can go to the Grand Canyon. Ooh, I like that. A military base tour. Military yeah, base tour. tour. That would that's, be friggin' awesome. That's strong. Rock Seattle out and our patriotic coveralls here. Seattle shout out. They wouldn't out. let us on a military base no. though. They declined. No, they wouldn't let us. You guys know we come pack and heat. <laughs> we bring the heat. We bring the heat. <laughs> bring the heat. <laughs> <Pack and heat. laughs> The Rangy. onion capital of the world. The onion capital of the world. Where? Uh, Elba, New York. Oh. Elba. Elba. Yeah, sorry for the quality, guys, on Instagram. I had to switch over. Sorry, everybody. But, uh, but, yeah, we'll be back, what, 30, 2030? Yeah, about 2030. We'll keep cooking, keep frying. We'll take the potatoes growing. off. We'll mix the potatoes. The chicken will be done by then. Carnitas, you'll probably pull them by then. Yep. And then we'll up. assemble everything. We'll uh, show you guys our Funday Friday today. Uh, thank you so much. Remember to set your notifications. Uh, comment on the videos uh, below in the comment section, please. Uh, and let us know, you know, <laughs> where you want us to go and what you want us to cook. Also put in there, if you like flour or corn tortillas, I really would like to know. I am a huge proponent for flour and I vote the flour uh, 100%. Hashtag corn. Uh, I only want to eat corn one way and that's whole. So I don't want it in my tortillas. So join us about 20 to 30 minutes, guys. Thank you. It's not that hot in the corn. No. Yeah. Yeah. It is supposed to be a big cap. 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 Big Give me, give me a little sauce sauce. Give me some Oh, there it is. What are you doing, baby? Oh, baby, what are you doing? Someone tried to call these zebra prints, what? and this is America coveralls. So, Zach Quattro, they are not zebra prints. Zach Quattro. You're damn right. They are America coveralls. Because these colors, they don't run. These colors don't run, son. Thank you, uh. What is it? Overalls. Zubas. 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 Whatever. It's too hot out here for the peanut gallery. Zuba. Zuba. I'm an American. Mm. Cold beer. Cooking food outside on a Friday. There's beer here. Good friends. Good friends. Living the rectal lifestyle. There's a fan here. <laughs> <laughs> it is blowing on me. I'm very grateful for that fan. I'm grateful for the sunshine and it not being rainy. And thankful to have you here with the grass. Oh. Bro, love. Thankful. 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 Happy to be here. Look at that. That thing heated up super fast. I'm thankful for this uh, nice vat of bacon. So what we, we going to do with that, Greg? So we did drain about a cup and a half of fat from this. We can always add more, but we can't take it out. We did pull a little bacon fat out of this. <clears throat> our potatoes, if you're following our stories, look delicious. Look how good these potatoes are right here. Look at that. Time of temp, Greg. So we went 350 for about 25 minutes. What grill do we use? We use the RT 700 bowl. And nice and crispy. Right there. Mm. Hey, Brim. So, good to see y'all. To finish these up. <laughs> Instead of purple zebra dive for those overalls. <laughs> purple zebra dive for those overalls. <laughs> Sacrifices, Rest my in friend. peace. Zebra. Sacrifices. So, we're going to finish this up. We're going to take some green onions. God, the potatoes are so good. Them onions are freaking good. 
those are fresh onions. Did you get those from Sprouts here locally in Augusta? Um, you know, we, we took a road trip out there. It's a good grocery store. I maybe, heard uh, Sprouts, uh, they, uh, they actually are camera friendly there. Sprouts. Maybe they will not uh, kick me out. So we might go see them next week. Shout you know out Sprouts. Way. Wednesday, go to Sprouts about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll be there. All right, let's finish these up. So we're going to take, uh, you want to hold this one? Oh, away? oh, it would be an honor. So we're going to add about a heaping tablespoon or two of and hey Greg, mustard. show them we're living the Rectech lifestyle. Show them how we're living the Rectech lifestyle. What kind of mustard is that right there? This is, pardon me, do you have any great right coconut? There. You're frying the mustard right now. Bond with that bacon. Oh my God, that just smells so good. It does. I love the smell of warm mustard. You want to hit me with some onion? <laughs> yeah, I'll hit you, buddy. All of them? Yeah, man, go for it. Yeah. So we got um, a good bit. Again, that mustard, that's, that's the good stuff. So we got some white wine. We're going to add our potatoes back in here. Holy shnikes. Oh. So we're going to dress those with the bacon. Warm mustard. What uh, seasoning did you use for this potato chef? We used the uh, Holden Freakin' Greek rub. Holden's Freakin' Greek. If it ain't Greek, it must is Freakin'. I mean, you can hit this with like, a touch of apple cider vinegar. I mean, from this point, you can't screw it up. Got some ranch. You could dip that in some ranch. <laughs> good. Some America uh, ranch powder. In case. Hey, what do you like to dip your fried chicken in? Me, I'm a honey mustard kind of guy. Are you a ketchup person? Mm. Are you a ranch person? Mm. I mean, are you a Thousand Island fancy sauce? Barbecue sauce? sauce? Zaxby kind of sauce? Sometimes I mix ketchup and mayonnaise. Look at that. I won't feed you, but you no, you're good. Hey, help yourself, sure. buddy. Yeah, probably gonna burn my mouth. Mm. 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 Delicious. And you did scoop some of that um, mm. grease out of there, right? Correct, Jeff. Chef. Yeah, we took about a half, about a couple of half hours. Go for any of them. Or hurt in the uh, tasting. Go for any of Those of you that don't know, the inside part up underneath your tongue is called your frenulum. I burned that. <laughs> That's so funny. So take a look at this pork. So here's our uh, green chili carnitas. So if you look, it's nice and crispy on top. Look at that. That's some good stuff. So we've carnitas, got our chilies in here. Uh, Ooh, that's warm. We're gonna kind of break that up a little bit. There's carnitas the onions. Means, uh, little meat. We got the onions in there. We got the chilies in there. Look in the onions right there. Chiles. What kind of chiles were these? So chef? we did uh, green bell peppers, jalapenos. Oh yeah. Did you take the seeds out or you leave them in there? Oh, we left them in. Oh lord. So let's uh. Oh lord, it's gonna be a little spicy. Let's doctor up one of these for uh. Doctor Flanagan here. Mm. Oh, I thought I had boats. Doctor. Oh, back in the mamba. Back in the mamba. Shut up, Namba Dave. Shut up, Namba Dave. Shout out Diamond Dave, shout Diamond out Diamond Dave. Dave, he said. What do you say I can't hear him? So we're gonna grab some of this pork, this crispy pork, with a little bit of the bell pepper, jalapeno. We're gonna add a little fresh smoked salsa. And some pepito cheese. We also have this uh, fresh smoked salsa recipe available uh, here coming out soon. It's all you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna make one for myself and we can uh, toast the taco. Can we? I mean, I would hope so. We're all friends here. Get some of the green onions. <laughs> Barbecue Queen said, please be using corn tortillas. Get out of here, Barbecue Queen. I was not allowed to buy corn tortillas we'll for, fear, for fear of rebellion. So, you put bacon, I put a little green onion. Again, you can top this with cilantro, lime. Oh Lord, chef. I mean, you know, go big or go home. There Beep. you go. Happy Funday Friday. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fresh Jim has a question about the matador. He's asking if they make a cover to fit the matador pan. Mm. Do you not make a cover just yet? But there is a lid that you can get. It's a 22-inch hot lid. I've been working uh, 
um, some folks to get us a uh, good uh, distributor and or purchaser of those. So we're working on that for you guys, for sure. But a 22 inch pot lid on Amazon will work, I promise. 22 inches. <laughs> Future really? Friday challenge, keto friendly sides. Keto, man, it's all about. It's all about the keto. cheese and keats. So right here, this would be a keto friendly pork. Keto friendly, no carbs. So you're saying that's keto no carbs, friendly? No sugar. Yeah, no carbs, no sugar in that. The peppers are good. Uh, the lime juice and lemon juice is good. All right, so Obviously no no flour, corn tortilla, but you could put that on a pork rind down the hatch. So John uh, Horning's, <laughs> yep, that's what I said. <laughs> keto friendly side or meal challenge answered oh. right there. Mm. Right there, John. Mm. Said side too, so just green vegetables. Uh, bacon, bacon wrapped baby bok choy mm -hmm. this is a good keto side. You could do kale with bacon in the matador, yep. really good. Yeah, kale and sort of spinach with bacon. Bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. Bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. You could take a zucchini and hollow out the middle and fill it with like a shaved ribeye with some provolone cheese and have like a Zucchini filled Philly cheesesteak. Mm. Shout out to my sister in law, Sally. She's on that uh, keto diet. <laughs> She's probably gonna hate me. She actually takes uh, pork rinds and she will eat uh, pimento cheese with her pork rinds. So that's very keto friendly as well. That just sounds delicious. sorry, Sally, if you didn't want me to tell everybody that. So shout out to all those keto people out there. Shout out to keto people. We love you. We, we got love for you. We got the low carb. We love the. I, we I gotta have my sugar though. Gotta have my what about, rubs hey, what about the orange what juice in it? What about so the orange juice? We've got, we don't use orange, we use limes and lemons. So this is not keto. I didn't put, I only had lemons and orange. I only had lemons and limes. No oranges. They tried to catch you. You yeah. can, go right that fruit, Obviously that fruit has too much sugar in it, yeah. I guess. So the heifer dust, heifer dust is keto friendly. friendly. The dirty girl Bloody Mary rub. The aged olive juice by Dirty Girl, keto friendly. <laughs> it's so good. Did you try the uh, potato salad? I did, buddy. I put it on my, uh, my taco. But we got fried chicken here on National Fried Chicken Day. We want to thank a few people out there. We want to thank uh, Miss Peggy Grimes for hanging out with us. Shout out Peggy. Shout out Peggy. Woo good luck. We love you. Break Tech Mafia uh, for life. National Fried Chicken Day. We did fried chicken on the Matador about uh, on high heat for uh, about eight to ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes, yeah. Three twenty-five was the oil. Carnitas. You, Carnitas. You slice, you deboned and sliced up the pork butt really thin. Yep. We uh, seared it off on the bullseye with some raised front row master blend, which is also keto friendly. Keto friendly raised front row master blend. We went about six minutes aside, got it good and charred, put it in the pan, hit it with some. Jalapeno, some onion, some bell pepper, some lemon juice, some lime juice, and cumin. Let that uh, braise off for about two hours. It's just fantastic. Yeah, the potato salad, we grilled that potato salad for 25 minutes. Sliced golden potatoes? Yep. You want to use a waxy potato? Waxy so potato. A red bee or a Yukon gold. Not your mealy potatoes. So the potatoes used for mashed potatoes, leave those, leave those in the pantry. So we seasoned those, with, seasoned those up with some Holden's freaking Greek rub. Went 350 for about 25 minutes so they were crispy. Yep. We uh, cooked off four pounds, four pounds of bacon. We removed off about probably about half the half the grease, and then I uh, hit the potatoes in there with about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, some scallions. And, uh, that's tasty. And then you you did uh, take some of that grease. Yeah, we took out. Of off, the bacon. We, we took off about a, about a cup and a half or so. So we didn't use all the grease from all that bacon down. Nope. But we will save that grease. We can fry off some, some eggs in there, some potatoes in there. Oh, Lord. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll do a round two of the kimchi and eggs. If you need a good cure for a hangover, man. Saute off some kimchi, add some eggs, scramble some eggs. Oh, man, kimchi and, egg. kimchi and eggs for breakfast is fierce. So, shout out to Sweetwater for your tropical lover. This is a delicious mango passion fruit. 
Shout out beer. Sweetwater in Atlanta, Georgia. We'd love to do something with love, you guys. Hit us up. Love your beer. I will even wear these fancy overalls. We've got a, a mutual friend, Patrick Donovan. He does all your koozies and, and all of your uh, 420 Fest swag. We'd love to hook up with you, Sweetwater. Hit us up. Hey, guys, tag Sweetwater Brewery in this. We'd love to hook up with them. If you're if you're in the Atlanta area and you know anybody who works for Sweetwater, hit, us, hit them up. Tell them we'd love to work with them. Shout out, brave friends. Shout out, brave friends. I got Patrick it. Donovan. Shout out. That's awesome. Awesome. That's a, uh, that truck is right on line. line. That's a beautiful truck. Yeah. Shout out. Easy peasy IPA. My new favorite beer. Thank you, Mr. Mike Bowers. Delicious. Guns Up Barbecue. This is out of Deep Ellum Brewing Company in Dallas. Nice. Thank you, Georgia. Dallas. Thank you, Dallas, for creating this beautiful beer. It's amazing. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. What we got coming up next week, Chef? Do you know? Um, let me see here. I can check my Slack. Double check the. We'll uh, check our. Uh, we'll check everything for you guys. Let you know. We may. We may be on location next week. We may be on location. Getting a lot of deliveries. Getting a lot of uh, trucks in. Up. Oh, and they've uh, email. We've been kicked out of the warehouse. We have been. So if you're local, if you're local, you just the area, and you want to see the Mamba come your way, shoot an email. Chef yeah. Greg at RecTechGirls.com. Yeah. We might be able to look, work something out. Yes. Absolutely. If you. Uh, about the food, and booze, and electricity, and water. We'd love to come out. <laughs> so everybody's just friendly around here. Hey, dive on in. But well, you don't know what we got going next week? Uh, no, it's uh, a different, different email. Yeah, no big deal. We'll figure it out. Don't we'll let you know. Be on the lookout on you gotta, Wednesday. They gotta watch Wednesday. You gotta walk, watch Wednesday. Figure it out. We'll be grocery shopping. We might be at Sprouts Wednesday. Sprouts about 10 a.m. So. Sprouts of Augusta, thank you for being uh, If you don't know, uh, the I Wheeler Road, no, what exit is that on I-20? 190. Uh, Sprouts is a uh, new grocery store here in Augusta that just opened up. They've got uh, delicious fresh produce. Is that the uh, extension? Yeah. One-way extension? One-way extension off of uh, So it's like 190, 196C, I think? Yeah, over I mean, there by Best Buy, yeah. the movie theater, Target, all that stuff, Walmart, Sam's. So uh, we'll be there. Um, Shout out SCA, shout out Peggy Grimes, shout out Elaine's Barbecue, shout out all of those folks out there pumping us hard right now. Uh, everyone that has purchased a grill. Um, Let me give a shout out to uh, co-founder Ray Carnes and our GM, Ben, ben Lissap. I hope you guys are having a, having a wonderful time living the RecTech lifestyle. Uh, we'll, go, we'll, see all, we'll go with y'all next year, don't worry. It's raining there. We got beautiful skies. Yeah, it's you raining. Know, I'd rather be with you anyway than on a beach drinking a tropical drink out of a coconut. <sighs> <sighs> you not know about that. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Know. I can't do that. Uh, I'd rather be drinking a coconut. You know, what if we, I'd like to go to the lake or something. Kind of go river. Be good. Yeah. Get, get wet. Good times. Get, time. get wet. Get moist. Get moist. Well, I'm moist it's right kind now. Kind of moist right now, yeah. Ooh. These overalls, I ain't going to lie. They ain't cool. Ooh. I might be cool looking. Is Booster made for walk? I sure ain't cool. Woo. All right, guys. That's our uh, rendition of Fun Day Fridays. That's, that's about all we got today. Oh, we're it's hot. We love you. We mean it. We will see you on the flip side. Make sure you fa uh, follow us. Uh, set your notifications. Uh, we're super active on Twitter now. Uh, we want to thank our uh, newest member, George Johnson, for doing an incredible job on Twitter. You guys, uh, please just do yourself a favor. Check out. He's doing a killer job. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, YouTube, make sure you just subscribe to our YouTube. We are starting to roll out brand new videos every week. Uh, also, so hit your notifications. If you guys want to receive an email from us, uh, go to our website, scroll all the way down, and enter your email in there. Uh, go to rectechgirls.com, scroll all the way down, enter your email, uh, hit submit, and you will be added to our mailing list. Uh, you will be able to uh, receive exclusive, exclusive deals, deals. And discounts. And I want to see all the discounts, but yeah. you'll know when things are coming. And I want to see all that delicious food you're cooking. So go ahead and tag us at hashtag Rectech Lifestyle and uh, show me those briskets, those ribs, those butts. <laughs> butts. <laughs> show me all the delicious food you're cooking. I'd love to see it. Yeah, follow us on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well. Uh, Chef Greg at uh, Rectech Greg. Rectech Greg on uh, YouTube and Instagram. I'm John. <clears throat> Dillion Senior, J O H N D I L L I O N S R. That is my that's my call that's on your, Instagram. That's your call sign. That's my trucker call. John Dillion call Senior. Sign. It's a family name. Don't pick on me. All right, but we'll see y'all uh, Monday for Mail Day Monday, and then Wednesday for uh, at, the at the grocery store with Chef Greg. Yeah, we'll, we gotta name that one something fun. Yeah.
All right, guys, have a good one. Grocery getters. You. Friday, Friday. Can get shit on Friday. Waiting for Saturday, Sunday. Start of the weekend, Friday. Friday, Friday. Loving every day.